haven't subscribed yet hit the subscribe button and the bell icon to get instantly notified from the updates of being civil a complete civil engineering tutorial channel happy learning hello guys welcome to being civil today in this video we will demonstrate maxwell betty's reciprocal theorem this theorem is first introduced by maxwell which is known as maxwell's reciprocal deflection theorem and then generalized by betty in this video we demonstrate both the theorem at first maxwell reciprocal deflection theorem law of reciprocal deflection and then the generalized form of maxwell theorem introduced by betty let's start before starting the theorem there is some assumption which is uh, this is this theorem is applicable to beam or truss the material should be elastic should be elastic material that is uh, hooks law is applicable and supports should be unyielding supports unyielding and another thing is the temperature is constant these are the basic assumption of maxwell betty's reciprocal theorem now let's start the theorem let us uh, start with a simply supported beam this is a simply supported beam AB there is a point C here point D here a load is applied here P for this application of load the beam will deflect like this let the deflection for this p load is del c there is deflection here also del d at this stage we will further apply the same load p now in d position so for this loading the beam will further deflect so this further deflection let's denote it by del c and del d now we'll calculate the work done for this p load the deflection is del C as this is gradually applied so the work done for this load is equal to half into P into del C now for this P load the, uh, the gradually applied the load uh, the deflection here is del D so f the work done is half P del D now you see there is another deflection del C for this P load which is under this P but this P is already applied so this work done is P into del C so this is the work done now we will do the same loading arrangement but we will first apply the load 
at D. This is my beam. First we apply the load P at point D. So the beam deflect will in this shape. Let the deflection is del C del D. Now we uh, put the same load P at point C. So the deflection will be further. This deflection is del C del D. Now we will calculate uh, the work done in this case also. You see this load P is first applied so for this gradually applied load the deflection is del D so it will be half half P del D plus now uh, this del C is for applying the further load P here for gradually applied load P so it is half P del C but this portion this point is already with loaded with a constant load P so there is a further deflection of del D so this will be only P into del D now as the loading condition is same but the application sequence is different the both the work done will be equal so equating uh, equating this w to w dash we get that del c is equal to del d so you see what is del c del c is deflection at c due to the point load at p and this del d is equal to the deflection at d due to the applied same load at c position so this is the maxwell uh, reciprocal deflection theorem the deflection at any point maybe one due to the load applied at any other point two is equal to the deflection at point two due to the application of same load at point one the deflection of any point one due to load applied at point two is equal to the the deflection of point two due to the same load applied at point 1. So this is the law of reciprocal deflection. This is the law of reciprocal deflection this is introduced by Maxwell now we will demonstrate the Betty's law which is generalized form of this law this law is in the terms of work done it is called Betty's law 
it is in the terms of work done the beam uh, is a simply supported beam uh, there is some point loads applied P1, P2, P3 now on the same beam we will apply another loads Q1, Q2, Q3 at some other points by the theorem of Betty this theorem states uh, that the work done by forces of the first system acting through the displacement of second system is the same as the work done by the forces of second system acting through the displacement of first system L let us demonstrate this let the uh, deflected shape is like this and for this loading the deflected shape is like this so as per the theorem the work done by the forces of the first system acting through the displacement of second system so this is the first system this is second system we will get the deflection at this point in the second system this is the uh, y1 this is y2 this is y3 now at this point of application we will find out the deflection in the first system let this is Z1 Z2 Z3 so as per the formula the work done the first system acting to the displacement of second system the P1 Y1 plus P2 Y2 plus P3 Y3 is equal to Q1 Z1 plus Q2 Z2 plus Q3 Z3 so this is the generalized form of Maxwell reciprocal theorem this is also known as Betty's law or Maxwell Betty's reciprocal theorem thanks for watching hit the subscribe button and stay tuned for next videos happy learning